You motherfucking too. Yo, I know, you know what I'm saying, I'm not, uh, definitely not here to try and shit on the, uh, the fight that everybody seems to, um, be so amped about, or whatever the case, you know, uh, I'm, I'm excited about it, you know, but in no way is this really a super fight, because as good as we may think Canelo Alvarez is, he really hasn't done shit. You know, I mean, he beat Austin Trout. Whoop de do, you know what I'm saying? Austin Trout beat Kodo, you know. But I'm gonna play, um, put my hat on here and play producer for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I just want to get a couple guys' opinions, see what y'all think about this shit. If I was a brass at, you know, one of the big two. The best way to compete with the competition is to be with the competition. And, for instance, um, the reason I say that is this. Us hardcore boxing fans are like junkies. We are fucking junkies. We don't, we don't care where we get it from. We just need it. You know what I'm saying? We need, we need boxing. We need good fights. We need drama. You know what I'm saying? We need build-ups. We need excitement. We need the hype. There has never been hype around any particular fight that did not happen the way that Mayweather Pacquiao was. The fact that the fight didn't happen doesn't mean that they still can't capitalize off that fight. How about HBO and Showtime creating their own documentary series about why the fight didn't happen from the Pacquiao top rank perspective, from the Mayweather Golden Boy perspective? Each episode wouldn't be like a week series, it would be a documentary rebuttal series. So let's say HBO puts out the first series, the first half hour show in August. August, the first Saturday in August before some fight. Then Showtime puts out theirs in October, a rebuttal to the HBO show in October when they're featuring some fight, you know, Devin Alexander and Kill Brook or whatever the case. And HBO puts together a rebuttal from that show that Showtime put together on their next fight. And to see how the whole drama unfolded, they can depict it however way they want, make up shit, whatever they need to do. But that shit would be just as interesting to me as damn near any fight that they motherfuckers can put together. And... You help yourself by helping the competition. I mean, um, I know it's crazy, but like, it's almost like a crack seller and a weed seller. And the crack seller got good weed. I mean, the crack seller got good crack, and the weed man got good weed. But if you got the motherfuckers who wanna, what they call it? 51s or something where they roll up the weed and put the crack in there and that shit would have the fiends going crazy why wouldn't you want the people to go get the crack and come to you and get the weed so they can get that fixed that's what it would be like like we'd have to go to showtime to see what they have to say about what HBO said but it builds the anticipation for whatever the fuck HBO is going to say back about that rebuttal or vice versa. Even though the fight probably won't happen. Doesn't mean that they can't capitalize off of it not happening. I mean the fact that it's not happening. It didn't happen and it probably won't happen. Doesn't mean that the interest is gone. 
and the fact that none of the fights or a lot of the fights that we want to see is not happening only builds the interest of a lot more fights that we would love to see. We would love to see Brandon Rios and Lucas Matisse, Mike Alvarado and uh, Danny Garcia, you know, Juan Manuel Marquez and uh, fucking, you know, Lamont Peterson, Lu Luis Abrego and Devin Alexander, you know, Mike Jones and Devin Alexander, Andre Berto and Timothy Bradley, Timothy Bradley, Floyd Mayweather. They can talk about all of the possible and combination of fights that could happen if they were to work together. But exploit the beef and the fact that they're not working together. What the fuck are they doing? I would do it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a fucking retard. Maybe this shit wouldn't be interesting to, to us boxing fans. I would be interested. But I just want to know what a couple of y'all think. You know what I'm saying? What, what do y'all think about that? You know, um, I, that's how I would structure the series. You know, get rid of that uh that fight game bullshit. Um, it was okay for the first week or whatever, but it didn't. It it lacked. It lacked authenticity because the shit was already set up to be biased toward certain fighters or whatever the case. And with a series like this. We already know that the opinion and shit will be biased by far toward the fighters of each network. But what they would have to say about each other and about what they said about each other to me would be fucking interesting off the charts to me. I I just, you know, I would love to see that shit. You know what I'm saying? It would be better than a face-off and the best 24-7-ish all-access type shit there could be I you know maybe I'm tripping but I would love to see it let me know what y'all think holla at your boy